Hello, in this episode we're going to look at how I customize my inventory system a little bit more from the last episode. So uh, this is a, really an extension to chapter 14 where we've created uh, an Unreal uh, Engine inventory system. So this is connected with a Java backend and you can see that the component looked a little bit like this right so we focused predominantly on the communications between the server and unreal and we didn't really do any of the design work so what i'm going to do here is really integrate it with some ui components and show you how you can integrate this into your own project as well uh, so that's what we're going to look at here this is kind of like what the work in progress what i've got so far um, i've given some high level definitions of like what i've done to achieve this uh, I'll give you a quick demo of what it is that we've done, right? So first of all, I'll show you the inventory system uh, that I've built in 4.27. So you can see this little uh, UI window, right? This uh, represents the inventory. When you click on an item, you'll drop it. So there's my item and I can pick it up using the space. So there's the items, right? So I can cl click stop there. And I've, what I've done is I've uh, integrated it into the UE5 project. So it's the same blueprints effectively. I've just changed one of the mappers, but if I click this item, I'm dropping this item again. I pick it up and there it is. It's actually identical items. The characters are identical. So all the data streams are identical. The only thing that's different really is the UI components. So yeah, that's that's what I wanted to demonstrate. So um, yeah, let's, let's have a look at what we've got essentially. So we've got a couple of widgets. So I've created this modules. Um, uh, folder and inside there I've got the inventory so this is essentially the same um, components that we've got over here so if I have a look at top down inventory so you'll find that this structure is identical essentially right uh, but now I've started to implement a sort of better designed inventory system right so from the high level what we have is this movable inventory window uh, so basically you've got this canvas all and then you've got a grid panel inside there so I followed a cool tutorial on how to make these um, widgets movable essentially right and i'm going to include all of the uh links in the descriptions right so it was this one over here so you'll be able to see that basically uh this video shows you how you can make movable components right so feel free to go through that yourself that's how you actually make your widgets movable inside unreal so that was really useful and basically you have nested child components inside your window so for example this one over here is going to be um, containing several nested widgets so like there's this top bar here which allows you to move the window and then you've got the equipable items uh, uh, part over in the uh, on the top of the window and then you've got the inventory window over here so this styled inventory contents if i uh, find it over here you'll basically find that this is the identical component to what I've created in 4.27 so if I go into uh, this inventory widget over here like literally this component over there this is identical to here it's just got a nicer design to it right so you basically uh, add a little border to it add a, a bit of like styling to it right and um, if you're interested right like i used uh this one over here so this 4k full fantasy gui uh component so this was a really cool asset to be honest i, I really like it. it it even adds a little sound effects to your buttons and stuff as well so it's really good uh you know you, you don't need to go for that specific design right it, you can create your own custom themes and custom designs um but the idea is that you can yeah integrate whichever sort of ui components with the data stream from uh, these inventory systems and, and that's what kind of like these sessions will be about uh, right so I'll be looking to make some developments to the Java server and you know like people can effectively integrate it however they like uh, and to be honest like this is more about just understanding the principles right um, because ultimately like that there are better off-the-shelf solutions out there but obviously it always helps to know how it works under the hood um okay so if i go back like i say you've got the styled inventory contents and inside uh, the inventory you also have these little slots if you if you're not sure how this uh, works uh, just have a look at the previous video right because uh the actual components are identical right so you'll see in the graph like when you click on it, it it does the whole drop 
uh, the item command. So uh, all of the communications happens with the server. So uh, that's handled for you. And if I go back to the equipped item slot, the really cool thing here was adding this widget, which is the character sheet widget. Uh, so if I open up that, might be over to here. Yeah, character sheet widget. So in order to create this little widget, which is basically, uh, you can see I've added a little blueprint here with the mannequin that I'm using. So I'll uh, effectively be replacing that with the actual character that's playing inside the game. So uh, that way, basically, when I click on my imagery, the, the little character that's over here will be the same one that uh, is my character. And in order to implement that, uh, I used uh, this tutorial right here. So again, the link will be in the description. Uh, this is, you know, like I say, if, if people are sort of interested in doing something similar, like uh, it'll be easier to find this information, right? Uh, so yeah, obviously this, this wasn't my work, so I'm not uh, basically trying to describe how to do it. Just literally follow this tutorial. It's pretty great. Uh, I also mentioned in uh, the, the post there that this uh, comment is uh, really useful and you might as well uh, implement it in your system as well if you're following this. Uh, so that's kind of it for this update because uh, basically I'm going to try and work on the equipable items next. Uh, such that, like I say, if I'm going to be maybe right-clicking this and selecting from a sub-menu to equip it, or maybe uh, drag and drop the item to the slot. Uh, so I'll need to implement both uh, the server side of it and the UI implementation, and probably I'll have some updates with that fairly soon. Uh, but yeah, good luck, and see you next time.